St Mary's and Glen Torren faced off in the Under-15 Premier Supplementary League Cup Final. St Mary started on the front foot when Oren Kavanagh hooked towards Keevan Frith, but Glen Torren goalkeeper Jack Watt gathered. The keeper would quickly be called back into action to deny Ben Shields. St Mary's were awarded a free kick right on the edge of the Glen Torren area. Shields saw his shot from the dead ball rebound off the wall, but St Mary's managed to keep the situation alive. Ultimately, it fell to Frith, who fired just past the post. Glenn Torren sought to pose questions from a right-sided corner, but Josh Lilburn headed over. Another flag kick, this time from the left for the Glens, and another near miss. A dipping effort from distance was inches over the bar. A Glen Torren free kick called on St Mary's shot stopper Aaron Connolly to claim. It was a case of right place, right time for Connolly when he clutched once more. Glen Torren were pitting on the pressure though. St Mary's were given a chance to strike from 12 yards when Fainton Gervin was felled. Shields took the penalty and sent Watt the wrong way to give St Mary's the lead. With a deficit to claw back, Glen Torren set to work in the second half as Connolly saved from Kyle Arthur's curling drive. Arthur then won a free kick 30 yards from goal having held on well under pressure. It was Arthur to take himself and he crackled the crossbar with a rasping effort. Adam Mulhall was first to the rebound and bundled it into the net to level. Arthur was driving much of Glen Torren's positive play to start the second period, although Michael Jennings pulled off a superb tackle to force the ball out of play. It was only a brief reprieve though, as Glen skipper Lewis Young powered home a header at the back post to turn the tide and sent those in green shirts wheeling away in celebration. St Mary's weren't done though. A short corner allowed Shields to dribble inside the area where he forced a smart stop from Watt. St Mary's then looked like they were about to make full use of a Glen Torren mistake at the back, but stepped forward Seth Cousins to come to his team's rescue. At the other end, the ball broke for Lilburn on the right wing, firing just wide of Connolly's goal. St Mary's got the ball back near the net they were attacking and Shields did brilliant work to worm out of a tight situation before winning his side's second penalty of the game. Shields himself stepped up and made it two from two from the spot to tie the match up.
Substitute Logan Beatty thought he had immediately restored Glen Torrens' lead, but it was a judge that Mulhall's cross came in from just past the byline. It was again down to a matter of inches when Young struck the underside of the bar with a deft side foot before play was halted due to a head injury. Fine margins at the end and penalties the final would be decided on. <laughs>